My personal journey into therapy has been very, very rewarding. I had, I really had no understanding earlier what therapy meant, what was counseling. My journey over the last two years has been very profound and it's almost been like a spiritual journey for me personally. Something within me, I think, has just just given me a new birth and a new energy and a new drive. So my journey with therapy has been so precious that I said, this is something I want to give back to the community in Rajapali. I got to know Nirmala in the year 2019 and several months later, she shared her dream of bringing this project to Rajpalim because actually when we're in crisis or when we're facing difficulty, that is the time as human beings we grow because we have to come through that. I was also a and bit hesitant and skeptical, wondering, you know, how would this work? But I visited Rajpalim uh, last November, that's 2019 November. I visited the town. I visited, uh, you know, various uh, commercial enterprises of Ramco just to get a sense of one is, will this work? Secondly, really, what is really uh, the meaning of philanthropy to the Ramco family? And they, they get involved. They don't just take it as, here's another initiative of ours. To be honest, all these years, when we thought about helping the human potential, we were thinking mainly of education uh, for various people and, uh, and the educating the community and all sorts of education institution is what we were uh, uh, thinking about. I think lately when I think my wife met uh, Anna and then we started understanding about mental health, then it, uh, then it dawned upon us that mental health is equally important. Mental health in schools, in colleges, in our workplaces, in the community and the fundamental human potential which is blocked because mental health problems is actually enormous because of which I think we've now understood the importance of mental health and we've started investing in that and this program of Atma Prashara is a good beginning towards that. So with all this in mind I have a lot of gratitude I have a lot of joy today to actually share what has been precious for me. Some time back Nirmala told me that she wants to do this program in a Rajapalayam, I am very skeptical and almost I was discouraging her in the sense, you know, to what extent people will be very open, whether they will uh, uh, come to the program at all. I am, I won't do it like that, I was telling, but she was very persistent, telling that, no, I want to do something for Rajapalayam and this is the good thing. Uh, if I if I succeed in my mission, then the great thing we are going, doing, going to do for Rajapalayam. A lot of times when you don't address certain issues and you keep uh, dusting it under the rug, it keeps building up like a pressure cooker at some point it gives way in various shapes and forms. It can be severe depression, anxiety, panic attacks, whatever it might be. And that's when we realize we need help. You sometimes build a lot of fantasies and stories in your head about what people might think, what they might say. In my experience, I reached out uh, to get, you know, professional counseling, got help over there. And in this process, the biggest thing I realized is uh, sort of being authentic to yourself and getting the courage to be more vulnerable to people around me. So whether it's being vulnerable to my own family, friends, that weight, that lifted a massive weight off my own shoulder. Definitely it will benefit the community because we are being trained by such a big professional and we are imbibing the qualities of good listening, good hearing, empathy and so many concepts is getting into us first. And once people start hearing about it, I think they'll start thinking there's somebody there to at least listen to us. So Atma means the self, self-awareness. And Sara means flow. Prasara is an emphasis further. So Atma Prasara means discovering of oneself, one's self-awareness, as even one is evolving continuously.